V. Vijayendra Prasad is a screenwriter and a parliamentarian. He is working on a film based on the RSS and hopes to direct the film. Vijayendra Prasad spoke exclusively to the Federal about his favourite directors, apart from his son S.S. Raj Mauli and the superstars he would like to work for. If I can move on about your next project, which is uh, working, you're working on a project on RSS. Yes. So, why RSS, sir? Why RSS? Now somebody asked me mm -hmm. to write a movie on RSS. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, Bengal people, Lahari people, Correct. they asked me to write a movie. Till then, I didn't know anything about RSS. Okay. Uh, then they took me to Nagpur. I met uh, Mohanji Babu. Then I came to what RSS is. Mm -hmm. What a great patriotic uh, people they are. Mm -hmm. But for them, the country would have gone. Well, you can't imagine what would be the position of our country. Initially, I took it up as an assignment. But once I came to know about them, I did it with patriotism and fervor. So what, according to you, has been one of the biggest contributions of RSS uh, to the country, sir, according to you? Inculcating the national spirit. You know the uh, philosophy of RSS? The philosophy of RSS is, before your language, before your area, before your culture, before your religion, before your family, before you, before your life, the country comes first. What a great thought. And that thought unites the entire people. You see, if you identify as an Indian, what is it that binds all of us together? Yeah. If you say, yeah, Canada, only Canada people come here. Right. If you say, the South people come here. If you say, Brahmin, only Brahmin people come here. If you are Jat, only Jat people come there. When you say, we are Indian, the entire one party crowd people are one. That's the philosophy of RSS. Now that you've, you've involved in it, would Mr. Raj Mali be directing the film or would somebody else direct that film? I have not yet come. First of all, I'm finishing the okay. Mahesh Babu film. Then I will give a thought to it. Who is going to direct, who is going to produce. But it's bound to happen. But will it happen before the next elections? Yes. Before the next Lok Sabha elections? Yes. So, the reason I asked you this question is because no matter how authentic the story is, it is bound to create controversies because you know, uh, you know, because it's a film on the RSS. It's bound to create controversies. Uh, how do you look at that, sir? How can I help? Somebody wants to create a controversy as long as they are sticking to the truth. Mm -hmm. No consequence can, no controversy can affect it. You have to stick to the truth. Mm -hmm. You can't play with the truth. Yeah. I'll be sticking to the truth. Do you actually follow uh, films from other languages? You now, for example, uh, it could be Hindi, it could be Kannada, Tamil, Malayalam. How closely do you follow these uh, languages? You see, you don't have time to watch all the movies. Mm -hmm. but, but when they make a way, certainly I will do. I will see them. So do you do you also have time or do you also get to see OTT? I mean, web series on OTTs? Some, some I see. Okay. Which, which was the last one, your best that you thought was very good when it comes to writing? Now, from in uh, Mirzapur. Okay, Mirzapur. She. And a Fauda. So, if not immediately, I know you are very busy right now. If not immediately, but in the near future or sometime in the future, can we actually have you write a story for an OTT? Would you would you maybe, ever do that? Maybe. So, would you ever tr want to try your hand at uh, direction? Yes, Bhagavad Raj, I am going to direct. So, which one? Our, his name is Bhagavad Raj. Bhagavad Raj. Okay. I will be directing it. Now that you have a big director at home, I'm sure you know. You know, you you would have. You want to do better than him. Nothing you know, like your father. Nothing, <laughs> like, nothing like that. I want. I will try to do justice for the subject. How has your stint been in the parliament? I'm a new entrant. Give me some time. Okay. What more can we expect from you in the coming days? Regarding what? Whether it's films or whether it's uh, apart, apart from the two projects that we know that you're working on, Mahesh Babu and the RSS project. You see, I want to finish this uh, Bhagavad Hutch. Mm -hmm. That's in my blood. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, I want to devote more time to the parliament. Mm -hmm. Because whatever reason, I don't know, Modi ji elected me as an MP. Mm -hmm. But since I am an MP, I want to do justice for the MP position. Uh, so, because you brought about Mr. Uh, Modi in the conversation, mm -hmm. so your thoughts about uh, how has been the last uh, nine years of Modi's government, sir? Your thoughts? Great. Yeah? Great. Okay. I incidentally I met Mr. Modi ji. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say hello to him, mm -hmm. to thank him. I expected to be one or two minutes, uh, just a handshake and all these things. Mm -hmm. But extended to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
40 minutes. And I told him, sir, in my life I had four ambitions. I mean, four things I wanted to see. And I felt like if I can see even one, but you made three of them in reality. He said, yeah, yes, what are they? He said, yeah. Kashi Tham. Mm -hmm. Because I frequently go to Kashi every time I see Kashi, even though it's such a holy place, so much of dirt, scholar, and all these things. Second, I shall mm -hmm. Third, Article 370, removal. Mm -hmm. And what's the fourth? Yeah. Our flag flying in people, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure in his tenure, we can see that also. Because you spoke about Kashmir, uh, in, uh, in one of your uh, other interviews, I have, uh, you know, we've heard that uh, your, you had certain thoughts about uh, Mr. Nehru and Sardar Vallabhai Patel as to, you know, who could have been the first uh, Prime Minister, Prime Minister. Who, could, who could have done well. What brings you to that thoughts? I mean, of course, uh, Mr. Nehru was definitely one of, uh, you know, the best Prime Ministers that we had. But what makes you think that Sardar Vallabhai Patel? I have my reservation to say that he's the best Prime Minister. I have my reservation to say this state. Okay. He made a mess of Kashmir. Okay. He was naive when he made Panjshir with the chain on, the chain on the left wing, doing the aggression. He was naive. Mm -hmm. In the last phases of his life, he felt he, he knew the truth. Mm. Okay. And he was uh, hating RSS like anything. Mm. He is a person who got it banned twice. He is a person who got Guruji jailed. Mm -hmm. But in the last days, he is the greatness of RSS. And you know how we demonstrated by? to his change of attitude, he asked RSS to participate in the Republic Day period 1963. Okay. The Prime Minister asking RSS to participate in the Republic Day period. That's how he wanted to demonstrate to the country how much he respects. He realized the truth, but a fool he was all the time. How do you look at the situation in Kashmir today, sir? Do you think, you know, things after Section 370 has been revoked, do you think this situation has gotten better because you're into films and because you know a little bit about Kashmir, the situation there. The government of India is trying to take a lot of initiatives to try and push Kashmir as the next shooting destination. So how do you think the South, the, the film industry can actually help? Because everybody asks care. Because when yeah, they're... certainly. The government should take steps. You see, Dilwala uh, Dolhan Le Jai, he was picturized in Switzerland. Correct. Immediately, the, uh, the tourist influx from India has uh, increased by 200 or 300 percent. So, government should encourage people to make movies in Kashmir, around Kashmir. So, that people will see again the beauty of Kashmir. It will increase the tourist uh, influx into Kashmir. Okay. It's up to the government. When it comes to Pan-India films, I won't be wrong when I said it was you and Mr. Rajmoli who started it, you know, with, uh, with Bahubali and all of that. Today, uh, a lot of filmmakers, whether it has been in the Canada film industry, the Tamil or the Malayalam, Everybody are trying to image, invest huge amounts of money and make a big film and make it into a pan-India film. So what is your, how do you look at this development, sir? You I'm very happy. Okay. The boundaries are uh, erasing. Mm -hmm. It's big, one big Indian movie industry. I'm very happy about it. But not all films make it to that level, you know? That's a, that's a different question. See, when there's a running race, only one person wins. You can't expect all the people to win the race, is it? And, so similarly, some people will make very good money. Some people may, may not be able to go, make that good money. So that uh, that does, doesn't necessarily mean we should not compete. We should compete. So, but how do you look at this, sir? One question is, on one hand, all the films that you and Mr. Rajmoli make are big budget films in recent years. So was the case with KGF. It was a big budget film. But then, then, then came something called Kantara, which was a very small budget film comparatively. And that again went big. So... How do you look at, do you think investments or do you think big budgets? It's not the question of investments, it's the question of content. Okay. Content is the most important thing. And did, did you give time to watch Kantara? Of course, I loved it. Sir, apart from Mr. Raj Mori, who do you think are some of the best directors in, in the country, sir? In Hindi, Rajkumar Hirani ji. Okay. And uh, Sanjali Lapansali ji. Mm -hmm. Rukosintam and Mandratnam, mm -hmm. Shankar. Mm -hmm. And uh, Prashant Neel mm -hmm. and Shetty, you know, Kantara director. Rishabh Shetty. Yeah, Rishabh Shetty. Mm -hmm. In Telugu, our Ratri Vikram Srinivas, mm -hmm. Kvartal Shiva, Sukumar. 
Sir, among the older generation of actors, is there anyone that you would like to write a story for, like Mr. Rajrika and the Kamala? The oh, that generation of actors. Is there anyone that you always yes, want to write yes, a story? Yes, of course, Rajnika. Okay, you always want and, to write. And Telugu children, JV. Okay. And Hindi Amitabh. Okay. Would uh, that would that happen anytime soon? I don't know. Okay, but if you had to write it for the younger generation, sir, the the new generation. Uh, nothing in particular. All right, sir. It was wonderful talking to you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, we wish you the best of success. Thanks. Sir. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.